So good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's get it going, let's get it going. I'm excited to see each and every one of you guys. This morning we are talking about the thief of joy. What's the thief of joy? Can you tell me? Do you know, do you know, do you know? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey Tish, thank you for tuning in. Good morning, Lynn, good morning, good morning, good morning. Love you guys. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the love. I'm asking God to use me this morning because I was on the God zone. So I didn't have a whole lot of time to prepare, but he said, I already prepared you because I called you. So I said, okay, we're going to do it the way you want me to. So good morning, mom. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I hope everybody is feeling great this morning. I'm definitely feeling much, much better. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to go ahead and wet my whistle before we get started. It's Friday. It's Friday. Something exciting is going to happen today. Um, I'm feeling really good. Um, God dropped this free, free, free into me this morning. So I'm excited. Yes, 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 yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So good morning. My guest this morning is me. <laughs> good morning, Centrail. Hey, Gifty. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So what is the thief of joy? And I know you see the picture of the little girls up above my um, right shoulder and they're doing their ballet but one of them is different now comparison is the thief of joy true words never spoken i believe it was theodore roosevelt who said it comparison is the thief of joy so if we know that we've heard that many times why do we continue to compare ourselves to other people why do we compare our walk to other people it's so dangerous but you know it's almost like second nature because when something happens the first thing we ask is well do you know anybody else who went through it um can i talk to somebody else who did it can you know what happened with them as if their situation is going to be exactly the same as mine not necessarily good morning cindy good morning yvonne you know guys comparison <clears throat> takes us down a rabbit hole sometimes and it's hard for us to bring ourselves back out. So this morning, I just wanted to talk a little bit because I was thinking about that thing as, you know, he dropped it in my spirit. And I'm like, Lord, we've talked about comparison before. And he said, but there's somebody right now in this season that is continuing to compare themselves and it, they're doing it to such an extent that they're losing their joy. They can't pull it back. They can't find it. They can't find their peace because they're looking at a thing and trying to see why, is, why am I not like that? And as I started thinking this morning, you know, I love analogies and comparisons. So our analogies, not comparisons necessarily. And I thought about the process of buying homes. You guys know that Frank and I are real estate agents and we have several um, deals going on right now. We have several people selling homes, several people buying homes. But I want to talk about the process of the buying because what tends to happen is you'll have two people go to a subdivision, they'll write a contract, same day, same time. They might even get the same exact house bill. But one person's process is going to take longer than the other. So you have two houses sometimes going up side by side, and they're looking, and they're like, well, their foundation was poured. When is mine going to be poured? Their walls are up. Why are my walls up? So you get this whole back and forth, but there's a backdrop to the story. There's something more that's going on. And a lot of times, especially in real estate, we see people say, well, my mama said that her process was very easy and she didn't have to do X, Y, Z. My cousin said X, Y, Z. My sister said, my brother said, but we're comparing ourselves to what my mama said, what my sister said, but my credit is not the same as theirs. I'm not using the same bank as they use. I don't, I'm, not in the, I'm not doing the same loan program that they're using. We're so, com so busy comparing that which we see right out front that we forget about all the things in the backdrop. We forget about all of the other variables that go into the process. And you know, it made me think about comparison this morning when I said it was the thief of joy. Because we got to understand when we're so busy not looking in the mirror and self-reflecting, when we're busy looking in the mirror and trying to compare and say, why am I not like Kirk? Why am I not like Betty? Why am I not like Deborah? Why, why is it different for me? Why does it look different for me? Because our journey, our process is not somebody else's journey. 
you know, um, so I was looking, I said, okay, Lord, I thought about um, John 21 and 22, when Peter was asking Jesus, he was like, what about him? And he was talking about John and just, you know, like, okay, who is going to betray you, Lord? What about him? And, you know, Jesus quickly said to him, if I want him to remain alive until I return, what is that for you? As for you, follow me. So quickly, he said, it's none of your business. It's none of my business. It's none of your business, family. What's going on with somebody else? Good morning, Steph. Good morning, Steph. I love you, my sister. I love you, my sister. We are praying for you. So we got to think about that thing. Stop comparing ourselves to everybody else. Stop comparing our walk to other people's. I can think about when Keenan was um, playing football and one of his seasons, um, he was trying to get his tape out, but he only had spring practice tape where he had other people who were sending game tapes. And it was a big difference because even though the film showed him doing what he needed to do, it wasn't in game time. It wasn't game time film. So we couldn't compare his practice film to somebody else's game time experience. And that's a whole word for somebody this morning. We got to stop trying to compare our behind the scenes clips to somebody else's highlight reel. I'm gonna say it again. We gotta stop trying to compare our behind the scene clips to somebody else's highlight reel. That's right, Santrell. We gotta stay in our lane. He does not ask us to do all of that. He is not asking us to do that. Again, comparison is the thief of joy. We cannot compare our beginning. We can't compare where we are to somebody else's end or their middle. And a lot of us, that's what we do. So when I talked about that home buying process, like I said, I've had people say, well, I don't understand why it's taking me so long. Because baby, you're using a first time home buyers program, which requires a second level of underwriting. So you're not gonna close in 30 days where your cousin went through a, t a traditional process and they had their own closing costs and everything was good. They had an 800 credit score and it looked different. When we're looking at your credit score and it's a little different, so the restrictions are, are it, it, the process is different, but we're so busy comparing, we're so busy looking. And then we have some people who go through the process who have um, challenge credit, challenge situation, but it's easy because guess what? That's what God orchestrated for that person in that season. Family, we gotta stop comparing ourselves. We have to stop looking at where somebody is on the exterior and say, you know what? Why can't I be like them? Why do people always go to her for advice? Um, she can stand up and she can say X, Y, Z and people can listen to her. Um, he does this so well. Why, why don't I have that gift? So what we end up doing is we discount God. We're saying that, you know what? You don't know what you're doing. And I don't ever want to say that to him because his will is perfect. He formed us perfectly. So he already knows what's supposed to be, what isn't supposed to be. So I was like, you know what? When I was looking at this thing this morning, I said he created us very uniquely, each and every one of us. Even if we're twins, we are very different. No two people are created the same. No two people have the exact same gifts. They're going to manifest in a different way. I don't have the um, gift of being able to sing. Don't mean that I won't sing, but I realize I can't compare myself to an individual who's a songstress. I can't do that. I cannot compare myself to other people because then I lose my joy because again, comparison is the thief of joy. Guys, we're unique. We're all different. That's our superpower, I like to say. You know, his will is so perfect for us. And this morning I was like, okay, Lord, give me scripture. And he said, Psalms 139, 16 through 17, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days, all the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me you are, um, you know, thought, think, how precious are your thoughts, God? How vast the sum of them. So I don't have to worry about what a thing looks like. I don't have to worry about what other people are doing because I know that he is orchestrating every one of my steps. I might not get there as fast as Nora. I might not get there as fast as Ruth or Avril, but I will get there to the desired place that he has for me. So family, whoever that person is that's out there and you're trying to compare your um, practice to somebody else's highlight reel, stop, because there's more to it. We don't see everything. We don't get to see 
all that they've gone through. We're just looking at where they are. A lot of people um, sometimes say, don't compare your life to the chapter or don't judge me by the chapter of my life that you walked in on. Same thing. You can't compare your life to somebody else, your chapter one to somebody else's chapter 45. It's not fair. It's not fair to you, not them, to you, because we have to embrace where we are right now in this season. So that's what I have for you guys this morning. Fantastic Friday to you too, Nora. Thank you for being on. So as I started earlier, I said I had some stuff that I need to tell you guys because today is going to look different. And if you, you probably saw it when I dropped it into the, um, the title of the message. So tomorrow at 10 a.m., we have part two of our Facing Forgiveness series, which is Forgiving Me. Yes, Forgiving Yourself. That thing looks different. We're going to unpack it. We're going to talk about it. It's on YouTube. I will put the YouTube link in the morning. So all you have to do is just click on it and you'll be able, you'll be um, connected to YouTube. Not Facebook Live, YouTube, the Freedom by Design Movement channel. So again, and I'll post that. You saw the little teaser video. It was awesome two weeks ago. We do it every other week. Facing forgiveness, it's about forgiving ourselves. Some of us struggle with forgiving ourselves because things have happened to us that we feel like were our fault and we can't let go. And sometimes the things that we're not forgiving ourselves for, some of them are real, some of them are imagined. Imagine right here in our brain, but I'm going to unpack that. Now, because it is Freedom Friday and I'm excited today and God said we can do it today only, only today. Anyone that purchases a copy of Exposed, you are going to receive a free t-shirt. All you have to do in the comments when you are checking out is just put your size. I will provide the t-shirt. I will provide the design of the t-shirt, everything. So it's Freedom Friday. So we are giving away free t-shirts with the purchase of any Exposed book. With the copy of Exposed, you get a free t-shirt. Just drop your size. So text your friends, call your friends because you got it. I'm, good. I'm letting you know, first and foremost, free, 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 free. Everybody loves free. So hey, go ahead, go to www.freedombydesign1.com and order your exposed book and get your free t-shirt right with it. I'm excited. Remember, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so we're still representing breast cancer with our Freedom by Design breast cancer t-shirt. So guys, free t-shirt when you purchase a copy of Exposed today only. So that's by midnight. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. on YouTube for Facing Forgiveness Part 2. Let's talk about forgiving ourselves. I love you guys. Have a blessed day. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.